Hey guys, okay, so I had this idea. Has anyone noticed that all the commercials for the coronavirus, I'm looking at the microphone, I'm not looking. Has anyone noticed that the, all the commercials for the coronavirus are pretty much the same? And I'm not talking about the commercials um, that are being put out by the CDC or any like actually informative commercials. The commercials that by like Cadillac or Apple or State Farm or things that aren't exactly healthcare related. So a lot of those commercials are the same. And if you don't believe me, Watch this video. In 90 years, over 100 years, Nationwide has been on your side. Restaurants have always been there for you. Nissan has been with you through thick and thin. We will do what we've always done. Take care of people. We're people. 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 People and family. You can watch the whole video. I linked it in the description. Um, but it's really interesting because, like, they don't all have to be the same. These people have huge budgets. These corporations have huge budgets. And for some reason, they're doing them all pretty much the same. And so I, I wanted to talk to a few people um, and kind of get their thoughts, um, just my immediate people. And and I wanted to do a little bit more research, but I ended up not doing very much research and just talking to three people. Um, basically, uh, no research at all. But I want to pick y'all's brains because it's really interesting. So if you are a company and you notice that everyone else is doing very similar things, why would you do the same thing? Um, and I have a proposition as as to why it is happening. Um, and I'll bring that up in the end of this video. So I think that all the coronavirus stories are the same because, I mean, most ads begin with common experience or problem and then show you how their product solves that experience or problem. So the reason they all are the same right now, and probably this has happened like in other unprecedented times too um, is because the common denominator experience is empty buildings, people at home, people by themselves. That's like the everyone's like oh what what is happening right now or like what do people need right now and so you start from that like here's the basic mm. experience and then they everyone I mean everyone's ends different selling something different but right now, most people are not selling essential items. Like most companies are not selling healthcare items or food. They're selling other things. Together. Yeah, I think mostly the low hanging fruit. Like, cause these are pumped out fast commercials. Like a lot of commercials are planned six months in advance. You know what I mean? So these are not. So I think they're quicker to write when you're like, what's the conflict? The conflict is coronavirus and things are hard. Okay, what's the victory? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. trying to build story structures. <laughs> like you're as an advertiser, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place because if you don't mention it, does it just seem like you're completely incoherent to the current moment? Yeah. And if you do mention it, like where do you go where somebody hasn't gone already? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, later. Hey Pete, what do you think? Um, I think it has to do with the fact that they feel obligated. These people feel, the companies feel obligated to say something and the fact that it's so unprecedented, yes, unprecedented, but it's also so trying times, unprecedented times, unprecedented times, unprecedented times. I think it's just really, a, I think the only reason why the words are exactly the same is because those are buzzwords. You know, you see it on billboards and stuff like together apart. Things like that. I think those are just buzzwords, mm. but really it's just like a standard sales pitch that just tends to show up exactly the same. Okay, so we heard, oh wait, that zoomed in. Okay, so we heard a little bit from those non, um, okay, those interviews might not really get anything, but the conversation is really interesting. Why are all these videos the same? And I think we actually take for granted the style that these videos are in. Moving pictures, uh, put to music, put to text. And we oftentimes think, oh, that has been a style that people use. It's so basic, it's simple. Anyone with a microphone and access to Google images and also the ability to steal music off YouTube, like you can make anything that you want in that same style. You can grab anybody's videos and then put music and then say your own words not was created by a person so ken burns is an artist he was a cinematographer and a director and he used found footage 
music and voiceovers, the idea of moving pictures and fading them, it's called the Ken Burns effect. Um, and most people just don't associate it as a style. When Ken was developing the technique, he referenced to the 1957 film, City of Gold. Even when his memory- Interesting to think about this style, how it kind of has evolved and where it is now and how we use it. Um, it's used in slideshows all the time to make slideshows more interesting, even though slideshows are not interesting. Um, and now it's used to make coronavirus interesting for selling Cadillacs. Together. So the thing that I really want to talk about is the earlier ad agency formula. People want, the ad men and women want the customers to feel connected to what they're watching. Um, so what better way than to make all the ads the same? So whatever you're being advertised for, whether you eat pizza at Little Caesars or you drive a Cadillac, all your consumption of the media of the things you buy are all the same. Like if everybody is doing the same kind of messaging, it supports all the other it supports all the other agencies because the people who are receiving the messages are being primed they're being conditioned to know that's my pain. My pain is that I'm indoors and I'm isolated. But my triumph is when I feel like I'm connected to something, when I'm, when I'm with other people, I'm no longer isolated. So their, their tagline oftentimes go, you're isolated, but we're together. And so if everybody is making that message, that is the one message you're going to hear. And therefore, everyone will be able to sell their product based on that one standardized message. It's almost like standardized <laughs> stair steps. Stair steps. Yeah. Stair steps are standardized. So everyone can walk up the steps the same way, no matter who is walking. Granted, some, some people can't walk. Um, like, you ever walk on a step and you realize like, wow, this felt weird walking up these stairs because it wasn't standardized. You, you, they weren't stairs built the same as, I'm just gonna keep saying standardized. Basically, the message is probably the same because it helps more companies condition more customers. It's really interesting, but I don't know. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm just trying. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm gonna try more things like this. Uh, fuck.